In modern warfare, fighter aircraft rule the skies, and no fighter has ruled them more decisively than the F-15 Eagle. The F-15's combat record over the past 40 years speaks for itself. 107 victories, zero defeats. The Eagle defines domination. It's the Cadillac of air combat. Able to climb high, plunge low, maneuver, and pull up to nine Gs in air combat. We were beak to beak with the Soviets, and nobody had any idea how it would turn out. But we knew one thing, if we could keep the F-15s in the air, we could clean their clock. One of the F-15's most dominating combat performances spearheaded America's victory in Operation Desert Storm. It scored 36 kills against the Iraqi Air Force in what many rank as history's most dazzling display of military air power. Officially, it got credited for just 32, for reasons that only enhanced its fearsome reputation. There were four of them were not technically shot down. They were uh, credited still as air-to-air -air kills, but this is because the Iraqi pilot either saw he was about to get targeted by the F-15 and ejected prior to getting shot down, or he maneuvered here into his aircraft and was so worried about flying the F-15, he didn't look out in front of him and flew right into the ground. The most striking feature of the F-15 is its size. Compared to the Hornet, it's huge, 63 feet long, with a wing span of 43 feet. But the biggest difference is its wing area of 608 square feet, more than a third larger than the Hornet's. That's why some refer to the Eagle as the flying tennis court. The idea is that it's so large you can play it, you can have a game of tennis across the wings. Um, but because it's so large, it's kind of intimidating. And you don't really feel uh, that it's a large aircraft because it's so maneuverable and nimble until you turn around in the seat and you look behind you and you see this very large aircraft behind you. And, and it's just amazing that something that large can be that maneuverable. In the world of fighters, big and nimble don't usually go together but the Eagle's supersized control surfaces, its ailerons, elevators, and rudders give the pilot unrivaled maneuverability. Those big control surfaces, you know, when the pilot moves the control stick, nice. they uh, dig into that air and can maneuver that fighter very rapidly and aggressively, almost to the point where we're right on the edge of that envelope of controlled flight. 